Welcome to this Open Dental webinar. Today we will be covering procedure buttons, quick buttons, and auto codes. You will learn how to use procedure buttons and quick buttons. You'll also learn how to set up new quick buttons and procedure buttons, as well as learn how auto codes are used in procedure buttons and treatment planning. So using procedure buttons and quick buttons. You will find procedure buttons and quick buttons located in the chart module. Quick buttons, uh, if you'll notice here, are highlighted here in the center. And your quick buttons are these little buttons off to the right. These quick buttons are designed to quickly chart fillings and sealants on selected teeth. Each quick button can be associated with one procedure code and any surfaces that may be applicable to that code. For example, we can create, a, let's say, a filling here that's already been done on tooth number 14, it's an MO composite. So we'll just click this MO posterior composite quick button. And that adds an existing other filling to tooth number 14 is an MO. Procedure buttons are located below the quick buttons. They allow you to quickly add your most common procedures to a patient's chart with a single click. Procedure buttons can be associated with multiple codes per button. This is great for charting a multi-procedure restoration or treatment, such as a root canal buildup and crown, for example. Usually you will simply click on a tooth, and then click the procedure button to chart the treatment. So again, let's say that we want to treatment plan for number three, a root canal buildup and crown, we have a procedure button for that. When we click that button, you'll see that now we have treatment planned, a molar root canal buildup, PFM crown, and a crown seat. So multiple procedures associated to that button. Auto codes can be used in a procedure button to treatment plan the correct procedure based on a set of conditions. For example, we can chart for teeth numbers 9, 12, and 15 uh, that they all need root canals. So we've highlighted 9, 12, and 15. And over here we have a root canal procedure button. When we click that button, you'll see that we now have uh, root canals treatment plan for all three teeth. But the set of conditions defined in that auto code specify that tooth number 9 being an anterior tooth gets an anterior root canal code, 12 being a bicuspid gets a bicuspid root canal code, and a molar tooth gets a molar root canal code. Auto codes can also work behind the scenes to make sure that the correct procedures are being charted. For example, if I were to chart a filling for tooth number 19, maybe let's say we want to give that tooth an occlusal composite. And we just type in a procedure code, 2330, which is a one surface composite code, and click OK. We're going to get a warning that um, indicates that we should be using a D2391 or a one surface posterior composite code rather than the D2330. So that way we can make sure that we're not um, incorrectly charting procedures. So to edit and set up both quick buttons and procedure buttons, you would navigate to Setup, Chart, and Procedure Buttons. And you'll notice that when we open this window, the default selection is on quick buttons again at the top. So let's start with um, setting up a quick button and editing a quick button. To create a new quick button, you would double click in the white area on the same row that you want that button to appear. So let's say we want to add a new uh, anterior composite quick button. What I would do is I would double click right here next to that ML anterior composite and it brings up this window. The display text is the text that will appear on the button. So let's say we want this to be a 
distal lingual facial incisal composite. The procedure code, you can key in the procedure code or you can click the ellipsis button to the right of that field to bring up your procedure list. And we can locate our four surface anterior composite this way as well. And then surfaces. Uh, these will be the surfaces that get charted attached to your procedure. It's important to just enter your abbreviations for the surfaces. Do not try to type out distal, lingual, facial, incisal. It won't function quite the same way. So just the abbreviations, the one letter abbreviation for a surface. The display as label checkbox. When we check that box, it grays out your procedure codes and surfaces. And that's because it's just a label. So looking up here, you'll notice that post composite, that is a label. That's how that would look. It's not a functional button. It's just a label. So we will leave that unchecked for now. When we say OK, we will have a new button in the anterior composite section right next to our mesiolingual. And that is now a usable button. If we want to edit an existing quick button, we would simply double click on the button and maybe we changed our mind and we actually want this to be a mesiolingual facial incisal. We can make edits as needed and select a new procedure code if, if that's what's necessary and say OK. You can also set up or edit procedure buttons in this window as well. Open Dental comes with several procedure buttons and button categories. Most of the procedure buttons you, we've uh, suggested you would find in the general category. You can create more categories than these um, in order to nest similar procedures under a common heading. To create a new category, you would click the Edit Categories button at the bottom, and that will bring you to your Procedure Button Categories definition where you can add more. So let's go ahead and click the Add button and we'll add a category for endo. Say OK. We can also change the order in which these categories appear. For example, we would just highlight endo and maybe move it up to under exams and cleanings. Or not. Maybe we want to leave that at the bottom. So we would use these green up and down arrows at the bottom to reorganize this list or you can alphabetize the list of categories. And close. So we can move an existing procedure button to a new category. For example, our root canal procedure button. Now that we have an endo category, we can double click on our root canal treatment procedure button and change that to the endo category. And now you'll notice it's no longer in the general category, but if we click on endo, there it is. We can also create a new procedure button. You can start by highlighting the category you wish that button to appear in. Let's make a procedure button for a three surface, surface ceramic onlay. We can click the Add button. Now that we have our category highlighted, we can click Add at the bottom. First, give it a description. So we'll call this a three. No, can't type. three surface ceramic onlay. It will be in the crown and bridge category or different category if you so choose. You can add a 20 pixel by 20 pixel image to that procedure button or you can pick an image from our short list here on the right side. You can also find some additional um, images that can be imported. Uh, they might be available on our user forum 
or you can create your own. Keeping in mind, it must be 20 pixel by 20 pixel, so a very small image. So for an onlay, we'll just give it a filling image, or we can clear the image. I'll put it back. We can add these procedure codes in this left-hand column by clicking Add. So for a three-surface posterior ceramic onlay, we might use a 2643, as well as a, let's not put that there, a seat code, which would be 4112, onlay seat. So now we have these two procedures associated with this button. We could also use an autocode if we had an autocode specified for this kind of procedure. And then finally, we have a group for multiple visits button. This is a default setting for this um, procedure button. What this would do is not allow you to send a claim until both procedures are completed. So for insurances that require you bill on the seat date rather than the prep date, group for multiple visits is an ideal option. This can also be overridden in the chart module, which I can show you. We'll just go ahead and say, okay, we have this procedure button created. And again, we can reorder these procedure buttons just by highlighting the button and clicking the up and down green arrows. When we close that window, in the crown and bridge category, we now have a three surface, surface ceramic onlay procedure button. So to charge that, chart that, we can say we want an MOD, three surface ceramic onlay. And these are the two procedure codes that we get for that, the D2643 and the N4112. Grouping for multiple visits, if we have both procedures highlighted, we can group for multiple visits, meaning we won't be able to bill uh, or send our insurance claim until the seat has been done. We can also undo this action by highlighting both procedures and ungroup for multiple visits. Moving on to autocodes. Autocodes, again, work behind the scenes to insert and validate correct procedure codes depending on a variety of tooth conditions. And Open Dental comes with many preloaded autocodes, but you may wish to add more. So to do that, we would click on Setup and Autocodes. Let's talk about what it takes to make an autocode work. We'll look at our composite autocode. These are all the conditions uh, that are required to complete one autocode. In short, you must have an option for each possibility within the autocode itself. So we have a D2330 for anterior and one surface. We must also add the two surface, three surface, four surface, and five surface options. And in this case, as well as our posterior, one surface, two surface, three surface, four surface, and five surface. Most of the auto codes aren't that complicated, but the composite is. For example, if we click on our root canal auto code, you can see that it's pretty simple. We have an option for anterior, premolar, and molar. We can also hide an autocode. And if we did not want the autocode to be checking uh, the procedure code behind the scenes, like I showed you previously of having the posterior composite incorrectly entered as an anterior composite code. If we did not want to have that pop up to remind us that maybe we had the wrong code, 
we can check this box and it will no longer do that. However, these conditions would still apply in a procedure button. We'll leave that unchecked because we wish to make sure we have the most accurate information going in. To create a new autocode, let's make one for an immediate denture. We would click the Add button, and under Description, we will type Immediate Denture. And we will add the codes for maxillary and mandibular. So our immediate maxillary denture is a code 5130. We'll add that and we will give a condition to use this code as maxillary. So if we have a maxillary tooth selected, we will get this code. In order to complete this auto code, we also need to add a mandibular. So we'll click the add. and select our D5140, because that's our mandibular immediate denture code, and give that a condition of mandibular. And say OK. So now we have an immediate denture auto code. With this auto code in place, we can now create a procedure button for immediate denture. So let's navigate back to our setup, chart, and procedure button. And maybe now we'll add a denture category. And in that denture category, when we click the add button, we are going to now add an immediate denture procedure button. So we've given it a description of immediate denture. In the category of denture, we don't need an image. We don't have one that would probably suit denture too well by default. Again, you may find a different one on our user form that you might like to use. And in this case, we're going to select an autocode for immediate denture. We can also add any other ancillary services that may go with that. Depending on your office flow, you can add um, an impression code. You can add a seat code, which we will do. Any number of denture adjust codes. Anything else that you may wish to add to that immediate denture, uh, you could also add uh, a hard reline for down the road. Anything else that you wish to add, you would add on the left side. So you can make a procedure button with a combination of auto code and procedure codes. When we say OK, we now have our immediate denture button that we can use. So when we highlight any tooth on the maxillary arch and click our immediate denture, It now gives us the option for a denture on the maxillary arch with the denture deliver. And that concludes our webinar. Hopefully this has given you more information on how to customize your quick buttons, procedure buttons, and auto codes for more efficient charting and treatment planning. If you need any assistance with this or any other topic, please feel free to call our support line at 503-363 5432. Thank you.